So tomorrow morning, an annular eclipse will slightly darken the sky. King 5 meteorologist Leah Pizzetti has traveled to Oregon where the best view is going to be. Leah, you spoke to NASA about this phenomenon and they say that there are many things that make this unique. Joyce, this is going to be an incredible sight tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm live in Oregon right now. We are on the northern end of the best view of this annular eclipse, which will darken the skies tomorrow morning just after nine o'clock. And yeah, I spoke to NASA. They say this is going to be incredible for everybody in the northwest. This weekend is bringing a celestial event right to the northwest. Minutes of darkness when the moon will cross the sun's path. A phenomenon NASA heliophysicist Patrick Kane is studying. Um, this is one of those things that you don't get to see very often. He says it's a bit different than the 2017 total solar eclipse. This is an annular eclipse, which will keep a ring of light called a ring of fire instead of total coverage. This difference is because of the distance of the moon from the Earth. In this case, the moon is at its farthest distance from the sun when it passes between us and the sun, so it won't totally block the sun. He says it will still be an incredible sight. When eclipse is going on, if you happen to get, if you can get out and actually witness this, you're watching a, a celestial event at the same time as millions of other people all looking at the same spot in the sky as the temperature, as the, the disc slides across the sun, the, the temperature goes down, the lighting goes down, the sound changes, the air changes. It's it's an experience. The Northwest will see it first with parts of central and southern Oregon reaching peak shadow between 916 and 920 Saturday morning. And it's not just this weekend that's unique. A second eclipse arrives in April 2024 over North America. This one, a total eclipse with San Antonio, Texas getting a prime view of both. Eclipses happen regularly. I mean, it's all part of the, um, it's all one of the, the great cycles that, that we deal with. Um, but most of the time they happen over water. You know, Earth is seven. 75% water. So most of the time they're not overpopulated areas. It's unusual to have them back to back like this. That's for sure. Reminder for anyone viewing this annular eclipse tomorrow, no matter where you are, you do not want to look directly at the sun. No matter where we are in that eclipse, it can hurt your eyes. You want to wear those protective sunglasses. You can find them at many gas stations and libraries around town. Joyce. So Leah, you are in Oregon, the best spot for viewing. What about people in Washington? Yeah, people in Washington are expected to get 81% of that view of the annular eclipse. So it'll look a little bit like a crescent moon, but of course a crescent sun tomorrow. Here in Oregon, uh, central down to southern Oregon, like you just saw, this is the best viewing. So we are down here chasing this and we'll bring you live reports tomorrow morning. Joyce. All right, can't wait. Thanks, Leah.